Hi, my loves. Welcome back to this year channel. This is Maria from Maddie's Way of Life. I am excited that you can join me today and use your valuable time to spend with me. Today, we are going over sinking funds and changes. I hope that towards the best path right now, but we will see. Changes happen all of the time. I think it's been a little bit over a year since I restarted my budget journey. And I want to say I change things every three weeks just because life changes. Not every three weeks, but it keeps changing and priorities change. Um, what your kids like, what your husband likes, what I like, you know, so it's just very revolving and evolving. So let's go ahead and come right into the sinking funds i also want to bring in the awesome money that we're working with today and we are blessed to have so we're going to count that money out right now because i tend to forget you know the thing about budgeting is that you need the money right and sometimes i'm like all into the video and you don't know how many times i have to restart when like my binders are open and like i feel like i'm gonna conquer the video world or the youtube world and then i'm like wait where's the money and it's nowhere to be found <laughs> so let's go ahead and count the money and then i'm so excited because i'm going to introduce something new today we're going to talk about life in general and let's count this first so that we can get going. Oh my goodness, was this off all along? I'm telling you, Jesus. Okay, let's start this again. It wasn't even sorted in the first place. I don't know what I was thinking. So it's a great time to restart. <laughs> I'm just trying to be really smooth about this for my big boo-boo. Here we go again. Alrighty then, we are working with $220. This is the first time we're actually working with this much money in my sinking funds, but you will see why in a sec. Let's do this. So the goal here was to have uh, my categories or lessen my categories in the wallet so that I can start sinking for important things like a buffer in the bank account, miscellaneous, groceries, and some house decor, gasoline, definitely gasoline, um, unexpected bills, and I had debt. First, I had taxes, which we completed. Yes, thank you for all the inspo. Thank you for all your positive vibes. I couldn't have done this without you guys. I promise you the accountability and the love that you guys share. It is just amazing. So taxes I completed and then I added debt in the back and then I took it out and add that money right there. Why? Because life's a beach. And I think this is a perfect time to bring out this book. I have had it since the release. Uh, and I do have like, I just literally opened it and put it together. This is from Merlin at uh, Snow Gardener 307. And I thought, you know what? Let's bring it out and let's do this thing called life and get in some money into the funds that are important to me at this moment or at this time in my life. So we are going to be using this. I want to let you know that whatever funds... I have here and go into this envelope right here will actually go toward my weekly expenses, monthly expenses, sinking funds. These I prepared back in January. Well, actually, to be total honest with you, I had one of these for a while. Um, 
from Drip by E here. So this is a lot more condensed and this is like where I thought I would be doing my bills pretty soon um, so that if I am a week, a week ahead, a month ahead, then I can be stuffing the bills for the next month in here. So this is kind of like my bougie, <laughs> if I may. Um, kind of like just my fun, um, not only binder, but I have her cute envelopes and they go like this groceries mortgage gasoline all utilities i condense into one insurance home insurance and car insurance loans this is actually for three loans my student loans personal loan and a teacher loan that i just got um, this is a credit card subscriptions and this is alarm because I technically pay, pay that for mom, but I didn't have an envelope for household supplies in Kim Fun, so I'm just using it for household. And the alarm, I actually included it in donations together with, hopefully, if I can, this month I wasn't able to donate, but I donate to um, someone in Mexico um, that needs medication. So I actually pay for that monthly and I don't want to stop doing that. I actually had to right now for a month, but I want to continue. So that would be a total of 150. And so, yeah, this is actually my like month ahead ideal, you know, to stuff my bills, but we are not here yet. So I had prepared these a while back with the exception of the dashboard that I just got about a month ago, I want to say. I prepared my weekly week ahead and my monthly month ahead. Duh. And so I anything that comes from this challenge will go directly in here. What I did back then was today I was reminded with um, Lisa from Lisa Grateful Me that I had done this back then. I don't know. Yeah, she was the one who gave me the idea initially, and I totally forgot about it. I think she stopped doing it for a while, but she was doing this in snowball effect. So I thought, let me just go and do my, at that time, these were all of the categories that I had in my wallet, and then just kind of snowball it. So I started with the um, the smallest amount, miscellaneous, all the way to groceries, which was 200 Some of these categories not only have changed, but also have increased like gasoline is now 200 um for the most part the rest look okay and i'm not going to worry about changing them so we're going to keep it like that and so i just have the first envelope here this used to be my wallet when i started so i used to carry this binder and then i'll just so they have been used and loved but it's a perfect one to like just keep my week ahead if you may here so that's why in my long-term challenges if you have been here i've been adding two dollars to a challenge in there because eventually i wanted that money to come in here so then i thought maybe whatever i finish here i should start here which is more critical i know it's not gonna happen from one moment to the other but the goal here is to get a month ahead and what i did is it just put like little what do you call it um notepad it's actually a notepad they're not sticky and i put what the challenge in here i will need and i did it from lowest again to the largest amount that i need that way i can kind of i can kind of play the snowball effect with this too and i didn't want to see the categories because then i get overwhelmed and i'm like but that's not priority i should have started with this i just kind of wanted to do it snowball effect kind of way in here i did it by order of importance so that's the difference here i was like i need groceries mortgage and gas to keep working and feeding my family so i did it order of importance and i thought that's what i needed utilities insurance loans can wait if anything credit card subscriptions i can just unsubscribe and then donations oh well they're gonna have to you know stop but i thought and those are like huge amounts i condense things and here it's like literally by cat so let's see what this one is i don't want to really see but let's see oh see 
this is one of the ones that is not the most important in case of an emergency i would just have to unsubscribe to things but this is one of the lowest ones so it's in the front and i'm just going to respect that for now and leave it in here so that's why i turned this that's what we're working with i don't know if i'm talking too fast if this is making sense but i did want to share with you kind of like how my brain works is this the ideal way no Am I going to end up changing things? Probably. I always do. If something doesn't work, why keep doing it, right? But for now, look how adorable. I flipping love them. Like, how cute is this? And with um, Jesse, Jesse's, uh, what am I talking about? Dashboards. It just makes a whole world of a difference. Go check out my girl, Jesse at Jesse Budgets. She's on Etsy. And she has um, freebies also on Ko-Fi. And she's here on YouTube as Jessie Budget. Please check her out. She is like, how cute are these? She's the best. So anyway, with that being said, that whenever you see this, you know that it will probably end up, not probably, it will end up in one of the binders here to the right. I just set them to the right. So one sec, because I've been talking a lot. Alrighty. So, sinking funds. Let's do this. We'll come to this in a little bit. That will be our last challenge. But first, we must look into this one here and see where we are at. Let me get a little closer. Let's see if that angle helps us, Mitch. There we go. So, let's go ahead and start with bank account buffer. I'm going to add $15, so 10 15 by the way i had said i wanted to start here at the bottom and so that i can alternate like how heavy the challenges were going to be and i made a big boo-boo last week in this challenge actually so thank you for the person that caught it i appreciate you so very much and honestly i'm just going to go in order now because i am weird and i just want to finish this row and yeah let's color this in By the way, guys, have I said happy Friday to you guys? Probably not. How rude. I hope you're having an amazing Friday. It is exciting. That is the end of the week. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been a rough one, but we're going to stay as positive as we can. So, oh, I hope we have the right amount completely here. How much should we have? 10. Well, let's do this. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 in here. Hold on. 10. 20 30 40 50 60 65 here's my mistake oh let's put this back and just add the 10 so that we can have 70 in here so 30 40 50 60 70 we'll fix my mistake today 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 there we go now this challenge is good For now, we will just go in order and we'll forget about these numbers for now. If need be, then I will just color half a butterfly for 15 if that makes sense. All right, miscellaneous. Let's see what we have here. Let's see if this is correct. 30, 60, 75. Let's see, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. So we are correct. Let's go ahead and add 15 this week again. Let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So we should have 90 after we color in. Let's go ahead and do that. 30, 60, 90 perfect that was not the right green but that's okay all right awesome groceries let's go ahead and this time we're adding 15 10 
Let's go ahead and check this out. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars. Let's see if this is correct. Let's see, 15, that will be 30, 50, 60, 75. Perfect. Let's go ahead and grab one of these. All right, that is awesome. All right, moving on to home decor. Uh, 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 today. Perfect. All right. And now to gasoline, which keeps going up. We're going to add five today. So we should have 20, 45, 20, 45, 50, 65, 70, 80. There should be 80 in here. 20, 40, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 is correct. nice for bills this is for unexpected bills we're going to keep going with this one and we're going to add 10 so 10 20 30 40 50 60 with today 10 20 30 40 and 20 is 60 All right, that is awesome. All right, perfect. Moving on. Now it is time to do Life is a Beach. And we are going to bring in the book let's go ahead and bring this back up just a smidge so that you can see that maybe like this i hope that works Alrighty. let's see hmm let's go ahead and i'm actually going to leave this side right here for any extra like money instead of scratching off i think that's what i'm trying to say so hopefully that works out and i can use that for like extra basically so let's put this to the side for a moment and let's do this one okay sorry guys i don't know if this changed but i did want to check on in on my um one more order because I honestly haven't been in the mood to go out and shop, so I've just been doing orders, and then I have my husband go back and deposit whatever I've um, depleted from the account. So, yeah. I think this is what I want to do. I want to count how much we have left. So, we'll do 10, 10, 120, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. So we have 145 in here, right? So I'll put it, let's just put it here for now. And what I want to do is have 145 and then go ahead and do, oops, minus five equals 140. And that way I know how much I have left. And if we have an IOU, well, we have an IOU. So I kind of just want to see the whole um, book so that I can do a flip through and then we'll try the challenges. As you can see, this is a roll and save. 
And then we are moving on to a day at the races. Um, how many dice would you roll? One through six. Color the coordinating dice. They say the face value of the dice or save per die. Hmm. I think I'll do the face value of the dice. So I think today, let's see. Let me bring this in and where's my beautiful tower over here. And let's do, let's do this one. We'll do, we'll do six plus, no, that's minus. Oops, I almost messed up, guys. I hope I don't mess up. Minus six equals, okay. Let me put this a little closer like that because the glare doesn't let me see. Maybe this is what I should do. Hold on, hold on. I will get this together, guys. I'm so sorry right now. Okay, I think that's what I should do so I can see the calculator. If you guys don't mind, I'm sorry you can't see it unless I move this. Let's see. If I move this, would you be able to see the calculator? Is that going to be a thing? Nope, it's not going to be a thing. Maybe I can... Does that work? I think that works just a smidge better. All right. Hopefully, that's good for you guys. If not, then I will try a different angle at a different time. Let's move our little plant over here. All right. And finally, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and do um, six. And I'm actually going to grab orange too and do six here. Give me one sec. There we go. So I did the face value. And who will win? Set a price for the winner. Save. For the winner, we're going to do $20. Or should we do $10? Mm, let's do 10 Okay. So we're doing face value. We did 6 And then we'll see who wins. Whoever wins, then we will go ahead and save um, ten dollars find a dollar save a dollar 65 uh, dollar challenge and these let me go ahead and move up a little bit here all right let's do this one right here because it's bugging me moving on we will do the next page and then we'll come back and do more. I just want to make sure we get through the book so you can see the entire book. All right, funny fish. Um, so every fish has actually an amount to it. So $50 saving challenge, color the fish and save the dollar amount. Want to save more? Use a multiplier or a dice. I could do that, but once I finish the book, I'm not going to go all crazy right now. So let's go ahead and do, look at this one, so funny. I don't know what I want to do, guys. I want to do these right here, I think. Yeah, let's do that right here. So for $3 minus three. That looks so cute so that's minus three dollars you don't need to be an expert to do something great yes um one through five dollar mystery challenge plus or minus amounts and bonus all right let's go ahead and try this one here okay let's roll the die and then we're going to multiply it by two that's four, so that's eight minus eight equals 122 left. All right, moving on. Oh my God, this is so cute. Um, every little square equals roll, color 
each of them equals five per picture. So I'm going to do, huh? I think I'm just going to do a roll right now and let's see what that gives us. That's four again. So let's do, let's do black that way. Let's do this one here, $4. Minus four equals 118 left. And here, pay $5 to scratch a sticker while you search for the elusive pearls. When you find the pearl, you have to pay five to harvest it. Okay, so I have to pay five to scratch a sticker. And I found the pearl, so that's minus 10. Now I'm at 108. And under this C, scratch off. Minus two. Roll a die or two and write that number in the fish. Save the amount you roll. Want to save more? Use a multiplier or use a die with more sides. Well, why don't we go ahead and do that? And let's do our D12. And that's 10. Minus 10 equals 96. Perfect. Moving on, this one says color and save. Color each picture and save. I don't know. Let's see. Let's use this. This one right here. Um, I don't know. Each little turtle, they're so cute. They are so cute. I'm going to do each turtle be, um, let's do five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So we save a total of $40 when completed. And let's go ahead and color this in. I want to do that. And I want to do that. All right. Let's do, let's do this one. Oh my God, that is so cute. I absolutely love it. All right, moving on, another scratch and save. Let's do this one. Oh, sorry, minus four equals 92. I don't remember if I did that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll have to go look back and then I'll owe it next time, just in case. All right, this one right here, I'm assuming is like um, like a board game, right? $70. No, it's just a scratch and save. It's fine. Um, Right? No, it looks like it might be. And I want to try it. So let's get my little piggy here. And let's roll... We won't do the 12, we'll do the 6. Let's see. Four, one, two, three, four, and I'm putting a dollar in here. Let's take a look. Minus one. Minus two. Minus three. Okay. Two. One, two. Minus one. Let's keep going. That was a minus three. Now three, one, 
All right, sorry, I had to go get my order. And while we're doing this, oh my gosh, let's see. All right, that was so much fun. I loved it. I couldn't stop. I was going to stop, but it was awesome. So next time we'll just skip the ones that we have already completed and that'll be perfect. Okay, so let's see. We are moving on to this one. We have $57 left here. Fishy, fishy, $60 challenge, pick a fish and color of the circle. That's it. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do... Let's do this seven because I have 57 here. So minus seven equals we're at $50 now. And let's just do pink. Or is this purple? I don't know. Which is seven? There we go. Moving on. Treasure hunt. All right. Savings challenge. Mystery challenge with bonus one through five amounts. It's time for a treasure hunt. Roll one die to determine your savings. If you roll one through five, save the corresponding amount. If you roll a six, scratch a sticker and move and move you way. Oh, your way. Okay. Sticker and move your way up the treasure hunt path. All right. So a little misspell ha uh, mishap. Um, it happens to all of us, right? Ooh. You know what I didn't see? Oh my gosh, guys. Did it bleed through when I was coloring for other challenges? Because I guess I was too rough on this one. And look, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay, so if I roll a six, scratch a sticker, and move your way up the treasure. Okay. Okay, cool. All righty. Let's see. So moving our way up, right? Let's see. It's a four. So... Minus four. Okay. We don't move until we get a six. Three minus three minus. We're at forty-three dollars. Let's see if we can get a six. Minus four minus. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go two more times. <laughs> minus two minus. Wow. Again, minus two. We are now at $35 and I still want to keep moving through the book. So we were not able to scratch, but it definitely took a chunk of money, which is really good. It's a good thing, you know? Okay, find the treasure. $5, $2, and $1. I'm going to keep these denominations. It gives you an option so that you can do your own. That's totally cool, but I am not. I'm just going to keep that, and let's go ahead and scratch this one. It looks like a ruby. It might be, might not, but it is $2. So that's minus 2 equals. We're at 33. Moving on. Color and save. You get to put your own denominations here and i'm gonna go one two three and five should we i don't know uh let's uh hmm sorry i think i'm going to do this one five this one ten i'm going pretty high here and then this one is going to be 
two dollars and this one's going to be three that's how i'm going to do it and i think i want to do minus three equals we're at thirty dollars so we'll do one of these that is done now row one die to determine how much you will pay for each row for each row okay you will then drop the um, you will then drop to the next row okay so we're talking about rows so let's first let's go step by step okay so six dollars row one die to determine how much you will pay for each row so it will be six per row you will then drop to the next row roll again and so on and so forth the final row will determine which fishbowl you will be buying want to uh save less don't pay for the die you land that just pay for the fishbowl oh got it so oh got it all right let's go oh, minus six we're going to do it guys that gives me 24 so let's get our orange marker i don't know why i'm so obsessed with orange right now but we're going to just check it off six and then we're moving on and it's one so oops minus one equals we're at 23 so it says if you want to do it like low or amount just don't pay for where you land on i guess and this is four And did I pay for it? I think I did. I don't even know. Minus six. Minus six. I think I'm doing it right. If I'm doing it wrong, please let me know. And then minus two. Fifteen. And we landed on that two. One more time. Minus five equals. We still have ten dollars. So five. And we scratch that off. Let's see how much we have to pay for the fishbowl. Ooh, eight dollars. Alrighty, we are good. That one was fun. I I actually did like that one. Okay, cool. Moving on. Let me see how many more I have. Ooh, we only have ten dollars. And I still want to get through the book so you can see it. So create a color palette and use it to color the pictures. Each choose, either choose a money amount per color or a money amount per picture. I think I just want to do it per picture. I don't know about choosing a color palette. I'm not very good at that. That's why I love buying challenges that tell me what to do so i think i would do it just per um picture so we'll do one two three four five six there are six of them and i think i'll do five dollars each so we'll do minus five equals we only have five dollars left but i do want to color in so first of all um what do we say one two three four five six times five is thirty so this challenge will give us thirty dollars and I want to, ooh, I want to color this one right over here. Let's see. Uh, let's do this. All right, that is so cute. Okay, cool. Um, never give up. Let's hope not. This is a $35 challenge, so I'm not quite scared of it. Let's go ahead and do this one right here. $2 sounds perfect. I love the low denominations. Oops, no vacuum. <laughs> okay, hold on. There we go minus two equals now we have three dollars and 
$30 challenge. Each mermaid is five. Okay, so that's a pretty simple one. We will have to come back to it next week. Let's, I am going, it says three to nine dollars. And I have three dollars left. What are the odds? I don't know. Let's go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so I already have an IOU of two here, and I'm going to color a mermaid for an IOU of seven. So let me go ahead and grab an IOU first of all. So I do want to color a mermaid. Why? Because I just want to. That scratch off did me dirty. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> seven let's see oh yeah we'll leave the roll and saves for extra money as you can tell we did not have extra money so we are good two dollars i owe here and i'm gonna color a mermaid that's going to be an iou of seven dollars this is so much fun guys i absolutely love it will we be doing this every week probably not i'll probably stick to one challenge or so but i do like that i have options i am going to color this in was so relaxing absolutely love it oh my gosh it's so cute and we have an iou <laughs> okay so this is no gardener 307 life's a beach and i love it i loved it i enjoyed this so much i want to go ahead and clip this here before i forget that i have an iou actually i don't need to do that huh i just need to go over here and put it right here like that and then grab the money from the cash tray don't forget and put it in here as well all right so now we have money in here to put into our binders am i going to do that on camera i don't know yet i don't know yet i want to get a little bit more money in here and then we'll talk about that the goal is to add 100 to 150 to this book um it is pretty low denomination so when i'm done i might just like multiply use a multiplier if not i also have a pocket book from her that i can pull out as well for now i'm happy that i'm able to use this book i didn't think i was going to use it so soon but here we are and i'm excited that i am able to you guys i hope you enjoyed this video and that it brought you ideas or maybe inspiration to change your budget or continue budgeting for sure may i ask you for a huge favor can you please comment down below if you are in a rush as always i'm going to ask to please drop your favorite emoji that still helps the video also press like and if you haven't, please consider subscribing, especially if you made it towards the end of this video. I love you guys. Take care. Thank you for everything that you do. But more than anything, as always, God bless. Bye.